Year four of Summit 21. We have speakers who were here the first year and now finally back. We have people who are attendees who are now speakers. So you really see the network come full circle. Thousands of women lining up for Chateau 21. We have the art galleries. We added some new elements this year. So I'm really excited. feel the creative energy, you can feel the love, you can feel the soul and the heart of black women. It's been remarkable. When I started my hair salon, um, Beyonce was maybe six. It was really hard because I, w I went from being a full-time mom to having to work like at a hair salon, you work 10, 12 hours a day. One thing I can say that I did that I'm very proud of and I'm very happy that I did is I gave each one of my kids a day. But just giving them that time and calling it their day went a long way. And to see all of these young black women out there, I want to do everything that I can to be supportive and encouraging and inspiring. And if we really want to have justice and equality, they've got to know that we mean business. These women are so talented. They're entrepreneurs, they're starting their own businesses, they're thriving and supporting one another. And I just wish when I was that age, I had a circle of support just like this. They're bringing all these young African-American women together to embrace one another, to promote positivity. I have this tiny, tiny voice in the back of my little head right here, and it's telling me, don't give up. I love coming here because I'm better when I leave and I'm leaving with things and gems that I didn't have when I walked in here. There's a confidence about me and I see that other women have too as they're walking through the halls. I am so excited that Summit 21 is focused on and there's so many phenomenal women here who have decided that this would be their path to prosperity. <laughs>